Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how to loop music using Visual Basic. So let's get right into it, but a few things we have to get out of the way. Firstly, if you haven't watched my tutorial on how to play music using Visual Basic, I strongly advise you do, as this tutorial is a direct follow-up. Click the eye up in the corner if you are interested. Secondly, you need to be using the .NET framework for this to work. And thirdly, right-click on your project in Visual Studio. Then click on Open Folder in File Explorer, and then go to Bin, Debug, and this is where I'm going to be putting my audio file for this tutorial. You can put it wherever you want, but this folder is where Visual Studio runs your program by default if you're in Visual Studio. As you can see by the files, if the files aren't here that doesn't matter, they will appear when you hit the play button. But you can put your WAV file wherever you want, and just remember this method only works for WAV files on the window operating system. But with that out of the way, let's get right into how to play music. Or how to loop music, I should say. So, in our main subroutine, we have got a function call called play sound, and inside we've got synthia.wav. This is the file we want to play, and this is the function that's going to let us loop the sound. After that, we do console.writeline playing music, pretty simple stuff, and then we do console.readline to stop the program from closing, so our application can loop for audio. Inside we're going to do sub play sound file path as string because we're not we don't need to return a value play sound is the name and this string is going to be the file path we want to play. Inside we have one line of code my.computer.audio.play file path and audio player mode dot background loop. So, if you watched the last tutorial, you probably know what's going on here. But basically, we're telling our computer to play the audio at this file path. And we're going to be using the background loop option. So, background loop option means this is going to be an asynchronous task. And it's going to keep playing. So, once the music stops, it's then going to play again straight away without us having to do anything extra. So, let's save our code and hit play. Why did I make it so the music file cuts off right before the really good part of this song? Like, I don't know why I do this to myself. But, as you can see, the music can loop, and when we hit enter, the program closes. But what happens if we don't have console.readline? Well, let's find out. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't play. And the reason it doesn't play is, because we can only loop music when it's an asynchronous task, the main thread needs to have something else to do to keep itself occupied, otherwise it's just going to close because an asynchronous task won't keep the main thread alive. So what can we do? Well, a really simple thing is to just make it wait for user input, as it's constantly listening out for you to hit enter or type something, then hit enter or whatever. So it's a really quick way to make sure your program's doing something, however if you're doing some kind of fancy GUI application, I doubt you're going to encounter this problem. But, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like in the comments if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Visual Basic tutorials. We still have how to stop and start audio, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for being a great audience.